many working class women. At the age of 14, lack of money meant that I couldn't go to teacher training college, which I very much wanted to do. So instead, I became a downstairs kitchen maid in Mary Hill. But immediately, in order to improve the working conditions of kitchen maids and domestics, I went round the doors and organised the other maids into the first ever union for domestic staff. It evolved into the Scottish Domestic Workers Union. By the age of 16, I was vice chair of the Mary Hill branch of the Independent Labour Party. I was also very active in women's suffrage. <coughs> Wearing my maid's uniform as a cover of innocence, I destroyed the Royal Mail by pouring acid into letter boxes. Who would imagine a timid wee maid like me would do such a thing? <laughs> I and they never caught me either. <laughs> Sylvia Pankhurst heard of my exploits and I was then invited to work alongside her in Hackney where I broadened my experience of campaigning. On the outbreak of war I returned to Scotland and I was active in the Glasgow Women's Peace Crusades. I spoke at meetings right here on Glasgow Green and to lots of local groups like those in Bridgeton where the library is and in Mary Hill. After the war, I returned to my first love, which was trade union and Labour Party activities. I became organiser of the Independent Labour Party in Bermondsey, one of the poorest parts of London. And at the age of 81, I was still organising and addressing trade union meetings. I died in my 90s. <laughs>